this is your fear talking. This is your fear telling you that something isn't working, something's not right. How much time are you spending stressing out, second guessing, doubting what you're doing with your kids? How much time, how much of your life is spent wondering if you're ruining them? Anybody? Put your hand up. Tell me in the in the comments. Do you spend a lot of time second guessing? Am I doing the right thing for my kids? Am I making a difference for them? Am I helping them to develop and grow into good human beings? Am I working on character? Am I teaching them the right things? Do they need to learn responsibility or do they need more quality time with me and do I need to talk to them more or do I need to follow through and do they need more discipline and consequences? It can get super overwhelming and I've been there. Uh, I was a mom that I was a yeller. I cried every day. I felt like I was ruining my kids and I would lie in bed, not be able to sleep because I would be going over my day and I'd be overanalyzing and thinking about everything I did wrong and everything that I shouldn't, I, sh I should have said and everything that I shouldn't have said and how I should have handled it differently. And I, and at the end of it, it would come down to this, that I would feel like I was a bad mom and I would feel like I'm ruining my kids to the point that, remember, you're tired in the middle of the night when you can't sleep to the point that I thought I was failing my children. I thought that maybe they were sociopaths. Maybe if I could teach them leadership skills, they could lead a gang. <laughs> they could they could lead a gang. Maybe that's where they're going to end up one day. And I think you can relate. Do you struggle? Do you overanalyze, overthink? Do you second guess? Do you doubt? all of the things, it's really hard. And so can I just kindly share this? This is your fear talking. Your fear is saying to you, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm doing. I need help. Can you get the help? Like, why are you trying to do the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result? The solution is not just to try harder. We cannot try harder. We cannot do better. We can't just be happier. We can't just have more peace. I'm just going to have more peace. I'm just going to stop yelling. I'm just going to be a happier person, a happier parent. That's not the answer. The answer is to try something different. Your fear is saying you need to get tools and support. You need new skills, but you also need new support. You need accountability. You need someone who can see things from a different perspective. You need someone who can say, okay, this is working. This isn't what do you think about this? I promise you, there are always blind spots. Hey, Tegan. Hey, JC. There are always blind spots. Can you think of something? Well, this is a trick question. If I asked you to think of something that's a blind spot, you wouldn't be able to answer probably because that's the definition of a blind spot. You don't know what you don't know. And that's why you need to get someone else, someone with a different perspective, someone who can see things a different way who can say, oh, this is what I see. Sean, my husband, always says, how does he say it? He says, "There's thing you're inside the bottle. That's what he says. He says, you're inside the bottle. You can't read the label, but someone else can. There's things that they can see. So even me, I've read lots of books, as have you. I've done lots of things. I've, I've listened to lots of different trainings. I've listened to tons of podcasts, but I promise you this, no matter how much you know up here, there's things you don't know, you don't know. Maybe you know some of it, but you don't know how to apply it. Maybe there's just a tweak that you need to make. So I have coaches. JC is an awesome coach. I learned from her tons. Uh, shout out to JC. Um, I have coaches and a good coach always has a coach because we get that. We get that. It's not about just reading a book and knowing all the things. The application piece, the implementation is really where the rubber hits the road. So I'm here for you. There's other people, there's other avenues, but your fear is talking to you and it's saying, man, it's not worth it. It's not worth it spending this much of your life second guessing, doubting, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like you're trying to do everything, none of it well. It's not worth it. So get the help. Uh, like and follow Families Matter Most. There's a free podcast resource. There's stuff on my website, familiesmattermost.com. You can reach out about private coaching. There's going to be online group coaching. There is an online course that you can purchase on demand. Watch it when you want. 
and it's building connections and it's going to give you the top five things that I want every family to do. And I promise you, if you do these things, it will make a difference in your home. It will make a difference in your family. So it, this could be your summer. This could be the time for you. <laughs> JC says you're the best. No, you are, girl. Tegan, you're pretty fantastic too. Let me know in the comments. What is your fear saying to you? What's holding you back? I can't wait. I can't wait to see you overcome in this area. So whatever you do today, don't let fear drive the car. Don't let fear run the show. Just figure out what it's saying to you and then try something new. Bye, guys.